can this conceptual artist safely move his life's work from one urban jungle to another? I'm wearing my New York Yankees hat in honor of the move. Will these gentle giants be able to squeeze 2,000 square feet of breakables? The pieces here are somehow really fragile. Like these are Christmas tree ornaments next, next to hand grenades. And shakeables into an 1,100 square foot space. Stay handy. How will these fragile and eclectic pieces safely make their move? Hi, my name is Fred Feldmesser. Meet Fred, a native New Yorker and artist who recently moved back to the Big Apple after 30 years of living in Boston. Longing to return to his roots and rejuvenate his art, Fred now resides in Manhattan. With a lifetime of work still in his Boston studio, it's time to pack it up and move it down the turnpike to his new workspace in Long Island City. The action is here and I was very lucky. It took me about nine months to actually find the space in Long Island City. The very first thing that I want to do in the studio um, is to celebrate it. Uh, it's perfect artist space. Great personality, great personality. I just know that this is the right thing for me to do and that the level of anxiety that I have will hopefully go down. Who better to move Fred's life work than the experts at one of Boston's best moving companies, Gentle Giant. With over 200 employees, all giants are extensively trained and capable of handling the most delicate of jobs. And Fred's team is no exception. Hi, I'm Killian. I'm at Crew Chief today. Uh, I've been working at Gentle Giant for three and a half years now. Hi, I'm John. I'm a Gentle Giant. My name is Ryan Horan. My experience with Gentle Giant goes back more than 10 years. And my very first move, this gentleman came in, looked around, saw how upset I was pointed a finger at me and said, go sit there, you see the chair in the corner, go sit down. In two and a half hours, you're gonna be moved. And almost to the minute, two and a half hours later, I was moved. For me, it would be sacrilegious for anyone else to move me, uh, period. There's just not even a possibility. Fred's not the only happy customer. Each month, grateful clients send in letters of appreciation to company president, Larry O'Toole. And uh, this is one for uh Killian, awesome, friendly, courteous, careful. Give the group a raise. Well, <laughs> that one kind of took me by surprise. The second out of motion. These gentle giants will have to be extra careful. Fred's intricate art comes with its own set of potential hazards. My concern over the move, specifically, there are some pieces that are oversized pieces. Uh, and then there are some smaller pieces that are actually fragile and or dangerous. This is an American flag. I think it represents a potential challenge because this is barbed wire and this is broken glass that if the box opens up in transport, it will fly out. And so moving a piece like this, and there are similar pieces in the studio that are actually dangerous to the people moving them. It's the morning of moving day, and crew chief Killian gathers his team. Okay, guys, so uh, we're moving Fred today. He has an art studio, um, got a lot of fragile stuff. It's like his fifth time moving with us, so he obviously likes us for some reason or another. I don't know why. We've got a bunch of bunch of different things like light bulbs and cement pieces, etc. So in terms of just going to take that extra bit of care today, go a bit slower than we would normally. So uh, we'll go in and get going. Okay. okay. Good morning guys, welcome to my Norwich studio. Fred takes the lead and gives a quick rundown of the delicate packing job. These rocks are not attached. Right. Uh, don't worry if they fall out. These, these are extremely fragile because um, a lot of the pieces are not permanent. Light bulb piece, it shows you how delicate everything is and, and that's why I came back to Gentle Giant. Um, again, this was broken here in the studio by a workman. Is Killian going to fit hundreds of pieces of art into a 30-foot truck? So things like the metal pieces, the 
cement pieces, the concrete pieces are all going to be on the bottom and then we're going to have pictures and then all the light fragiles are going to be green boxes up on top. It's too heavy. Last pan full of spear points. <laughs> You need your weedies. Yep. Oh, you're so strong. Killian carefully wraps Fred's fragile light bulbs. Like most people who move, Fred is feeling a little uncertain. I'm going from a approximately 2,000 square foot studio to about an 1,100 square foot studio. I'm nervous about the unknown. Am I doing the right thing? Am I losing something? Um, I think when people move from point A to point B, if they're caring, sensitive, inquisitive people, they always lose. You lose a little bit of your soul. But my development as an artist and as a person, in part, took place in Norwood, Mass. And I'll, you know, it'll always be in my heart, always. Coming up, Fred's big move leaves him feeling as fragile as his art. But he manages to muster up some laughs along the way. How am I going to find a piece of art that this marble belongs to? How am I going to do that? <laughs>